Elsa has regained hurricane strength in the Gulf of Mexico, and its maximum sustained winds is 75 miles per hour, and the central pressure is 996 millibars. It is moving north at 14 miles per hour. This is the current forecast for Elsa, as put together by the National Hurricane Center. It's forecasted to remain a hurricane until landfall, though it could weaken before that, for weakening to a tropical storm and then weakening further to a tropical depression, for re-emerging and then regaining tropical storm status. This is the National Hurricane Center's forecast column. We will see tropical storm warnings and a hurricane warning is in effect, as long as a tropical storm watch. You can look over this image to see if you are in any watches or warnings. There is a slight risk of flash flooding through most of Florida, eastern Georgia, eastern South Carolina, and eastern North Carolina, with moderate risk of flash flooding in areas near Tampa and Savannah. This is the rainfall forecast, and it calls for 1 to 2 inches along most of Elsa's path, with some areas of 4 inches and an isolated area of 6 inches near Tampa Bay. Storm surge is forecast to be 1 to 4 feet along most of western Florida, with areas of 3 to 5 feet forecast in near areas of Tampa Bay. There is also an area of 1 to 2 feet forecasted along the Georgia coastline and most of the South Carolina coastline.